Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and this is an Islam in West update. A teacher went into a Muslim school in New York City. Well, it just says New York Matt Meredith. I thought it was New York City, but it was reported in the New York Post. Wherever. And the English teacher told students basically that uh, Adam and Eve story was created to create tolerance among other religions. The English instructor is in disciplinary timeout after she told third graders that Adam and Eve are fictitious, according to New York Post. English teacher Nina Kosman, who taught at the Razi Private Islamic School in Queens, New York, has, sim has since been temporarily removed after parents learned about after parents learned about the incident. Post also reports that Kosman used nude classical painting to explain the Garden of Eden to students. Kosman said in her defense that Judaism, Christianity, and Islam share the same Adam and Eve story as a way to help build up tolerance for other faiths. Oh. My. Word. According to the paper, it didn't sit well with parents. Parents were in a shock and a fury, said Imam L. Amin, assistant to the principal. Kosman is now working in the Queen's educational office doing paperwork until such time she's reinstated. The Post reports Kosman receives a $90,000 a year salary footed by New York tax paper, taxpayers. Um, you people really wouldn't like what I have to say about it, because I've actually studied the text, King James text, and it doesn't say what the average preacher man says it does. Now, this woman is grossly in error because, uh, those three faced didn't t come up with some myth just to justify uh, build up tolerance with other faiths. That's absurd. But I have news for you uh, folks. Uh, you wouldn't like what I have to say at all. It involves uh, certain things like genetic engineering. You know, the, the Adam and Eve story even talks if you read into it, it says the Garden of Eden was irrigated from a river, Euphrates, if I'm not mistaken. And that says the Garden of Eden was watered from a mist that rose from the ground. So the source of the water was the river, and the mist rose from the ground, which means that they were using some sort of high-tech irrigation system. Now, how would Moses learn about that? It, it gets really... Genesis is really bizarre. Anyway, she's uh, managed to get the ire of the religious community. Obviously, she's almost certainly an atheist. I don't really care that much about this one. But it's an interesting story. Thanks for watching. I'm Artifacts of Mars.